Why is your metal roof leaking? This is butyl tape. They put the panels together like that and with a screw. That is the initial installation. But after a few years, you need to re-talk these screws because they slightly loosen up. So watch this video. It's the most important video for any metal roof owner. I think you're going to like it. All right, I'm at the shipping warehouse in Massachusetts, close to Cape Cod. And the roof is leaking in many, many places. And I want to show you an easy repair, how to fix all these leaks. Let's get on the building. This is a common problem on a shipping warehouse. This roof is 500 feet by 300 feet. So this roof is very, very nice. Yeah. Let me show you. There is no rust. It's only 14 years old, so it's a very, very new roof. But I'm going to show you the problem, and then I'm going to show you how we fix this problem. If you look at this roof, there's a gasket between these two metal plates. These screws, when it was installed, was still fresh, and the gasket on the screws was still fresh. So the moment they tightened it to a certain torque, that was okay at the time, but this gasket has dried a little bit, this gasket has dried, and therefore, the screws are loose now. And that's what causes the leaks. Let me show you. Look, let me put the screw. Watch, you see? And then that's torque. I've got a Milwaukee, and I put it at the maximum torque. And look, I go down there, and see? That clutch kicks in at the maximum. You see that? All of it is loose. That's... Okay. So I have an extension on the gun, on the, on the screw gun, to help me, so I don't have to bend down. Okay. Now, to make, to make double sure that I have everything sealed, we started yesterday and we use Super silicon seal. You can see how it looks. Look, beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> Look how beautiful this is. The water, it keeps the water away from the screw, but it also seals around. This will protect the washer, and it will also, if the washer was broken and you didn't see it, it will seal around the washer and the screw. Rust. Let me get one screw out. Oh, this one is completely loose. Look at this. You see that one? Okay. Let me take it out. Look at the rust. I take the screw completely out and I replace it with a slightly bigger. Look at it. The diameter is slightly bigger. Okay. Let me see. You can see the rust, everything around the hole there and water would leak in. That's it. We applied with a little brush. I think a one inch brush is better. We're using a two inch brush because we didn't have a one inch brush. But all it is, you dab the screws, each one, with a little bit of super silicone. And I'm gonna to explain to you something here. When you screw down, when a screw is screwed down here, you see this? It makes an indentation in the metal and the water sits around the screw. You want, that's what, we do two things. We seal around the screw and we fill up that indentation so water doesn't sit there. That's what we do. All right, that helps to, to keep water away from the screw. And you need somebody to do that, like this person. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one. I am sure to do it. And I'm glad because I make sure they're very sealed. Yeah. 11 o'clock. 120, 121. We calculated that you need around a gallon and a half of uh, super silicone seal for every 500 feet. So this is 500 feet and it's about a gallon and a half. Let me explain something. If you don't, you need to talk 
all the screws on the on the roof if after 10 years it's a maintenance thing you talk it now while you're talking the screws you're going to find some places where it's been rusted the water came through the screw and it rusted the screw out watch this one i think it's this one so i cannot talk it see this one i can talk right talk right you see this one i can that means this is rusted so i'm going to take it out yeah. And look at it. All rusted through. So I replace it with a bigger screw. I cracked. Okay? I put a bigger screw in. Hopefully it works. It didn't talk too well. So it was not tight enough for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a, a screw next to it and that's what you should do because well the purpose of the screw is to get these metal plates tight to each other and this one was just spinning again watch no doesn't hold okay so i'm going to put a screw next to it you have to do that to make it to get the thing done Okay. And that's how you fix it. Let's fix another something else I'm going to show you. So in this case, I tried to put a screw in there. It didn't want to hold. You can see there's a big hole there. All right. So instead of, you have to cover that hole. You cannot just do any, leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small piece of, polyester fleece cover the hole there you go beautiful and the repair is done so now we know this is not but it was leaking here because just because I see the rust the screw was rusted through and I couldn't put another screw in its place so that's what maintenance is okay you need to do maintenance on your roof the most important part is to torque, torque, to torque all the screws tight. With that, you will see what is loose and w which ones are not tight. But also, while you add it, look for metal rot. Look at this. This is metal rot. Look how bad it is. See that? The whole metal is gone. Metal rot. Okay. The fleece, and I put it over that just to cover that just in case okay and that's this is how you fix so I'm gonna put the piece this way just for in case oh, my goodness. that's fixed I want to show you another another thing how to look how to look for leaks because the seams are the most obvious the screws but now and again, you're going to find some hole in the metal roof. And how to look for it, I'm going to show you. you. You scan over the roof. Just scan. And you can look for rust, any rust. If you see a rust spot, then you know there's something. And right here in front of me is one. You see this one? Look at the rust spot there. There's a big hole there. So very fast and easy to fix. I'm just wanted to show you. You see these rust spots? They happen. You can find them. All right, and I cover that. And that's how you fix it. But you look for rust, rust spots on the on the metal roof. It should there should be no rust spots. Nothing. Okay. And that's how you look for it. You scan and look for rust spots and if you don't if you see any you may it may it's a possible hole leaky metal roof seam in cape cod massachusetts see you on the next video